Hey guys, Josh Air Nerd here at Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And do you have a power running? Chances are if you have a camper built after about the 2011 model year that you do, assuming you have it awning, of course, um, chances are you're using it wrong. A lot of people don't know this. Frankly, I'm not sure a lot of dealers know this. Uh, I've seen uh, a handful of, now that power awnings have been the used RV market more, I've seen a handful of them come in with the gas struts on the auto rain dump feature basically prematurely worn out and that shouldn't be happening. And I realize it's because people aren't being told how to use them properly. So maybe this will save you a couple hundred bucks in repairs. So what's going on is you have a power awning. You think it's simple, easy. I'm just gonna push the button, watch it come out. The problem is you don't actually wanna just hit the button and run it all the way out in one shot. And the reason is that auto rain dump feature, the gas strut in the arm, which is what allows the awning to tilt down if there's rain and then come back up. Something has to move to do that. And it's a pressurized gas strut. And basically it works, it's, well, it's really just the exact same thing as a gas strut that's like uh, automatically closing a screen door for you at your house. What you actually wanna do is do this in two stages. First, you wanna open it, I don't know, 18 to 24 inches, about two feet. Pause for a second and then finish opening it. Then you can hold the button and go nuts and let this thing open all the way. So why that pause? Why that extra step? Because that's a step that everyone's missing. Well, in this awning arm right here is a gas strut. And it takes time for that to expand. The whole idea behind that gas strut is that it doesn't move very easily, is that it has to have a level of resistance there. Well. When you close the awning, you're forcing all the, you know, the air and the gas out of it. And then when you open the awning, you're kind of slowly sucking some of that back into there. Think of it kind of like, um, oh, if you've ever been in a, uh, in a pool and you got those like little water squirt guns where you suck the water into it, then you push it out. Well, it doesn't happen instantaneously. It, you have to pull on it and then you have to push on it and it happens slowly. It takes a little bit of time. Whether it's air or it's water, it's actually all fluid dynamics. Uh, but to put it in simple layman's terms, you're wearing the sucker out. <laughs> That's what you're doing. You're causing it to prematurely get pulled too fast and prematurely get closed too quickly. And that will start to damage the seals of the strut. Now, year one, year two, you're not gonna think about that. And I think the reason more people don't know about this or talk about this is because shockingly, the average period of ownership for the first time RV owners only about two and a half years. This is one of the reasons we're so committed to trying to help you buy your second camper the first time at Halet RV. Well, little things like this, I don't care what you bought. I don't care where you bought. This is a simple, easy thing that could save you a couple hundred bucks in, in you know, unnecessary self-inflicted damage. Why don't you hear more about this? Well, one, I don't know that enough places know, and two, I don't know that enough of them care. I've never heard someone else talk about this before, and it just kind of occurred to me when I saw um, a post on a, a Facebook group that I'm in where someone had their awning opening and closing, and they would open it, and there was this big slack in the awning, and then all of a sudden, the awning arm would kick back up. Well, it's because the strut was worn out, and that's just what happens. They didn't even realize it. It was just kind of being used improperly. So helpful little tip here for you from your Uncle Josh. We're always here to take care of you guys, whether it's before, during, and obviously, especially after the sales. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.